Today I am surface firing pottery that is painted with organic paint. And it's a little bit different technique than normal firing and I've never done it before. So we will see how that uh, kind of works out. So please stay tuned. I have so much to learn about making authentic pottery, making it and firing it and all the other things. And today I am doing something completely new for me and that is firing pots that are painted with organic uh, paint. I have a couple of Salado polychrome pots uh, that I plan to fire today. I was a little bit nervous about that kind of thing. Well, there's a couple of different ways that uh, organic paint is fired. One is with a trench. I've never done that before. Dig a trench, build a fire, heat everything up, uh, fire the pots, but then you cover them and snuff out all the, or as much of the oxygen as you can. In this case, as I understand it, with Salado Polychrome, they did not use trenches. They used a surface firing, but you have to be careful because if you fire it too hot, it just burns all this off and you'll just kind of get a haze. You won't get nice dark colors. Uh, but if you don't fire it enough, then it really won't be fired. And so there's a sweet spot that we are shooting for. And uh, so that will be a little bit of a trick. But that's the plan today. It's kind of a chilly morning, but the wind is not uh, too noticeable. So we're going to give it a go. So here's the first of the uh, polychrome jars. It's been preheating in my oven. It's already the brown plate has turned black now. So it's a good start. Our goal here is 1300 degrees quick fire. That's a lot cooler than what I normally fire at. I usually get closer to 1500 degrees. We want to build a fire that is kind of open so we can keep an eye on this thing. And when it hits a prime spot, uh, we shut the fire down. So roughly 1300 degrees plus or minus about 50 degrees. Too hot and the uh, black paint will burn off. These polychromes were painted with organic paint and uh, they're not covered with cover shards. They um, For that. So they always have smoke clouds on them. Fire's already started a little bit. I'll help it out on this other side too. Okay, here we go. a little less fuel on it than I normally do in smaller pieces and I have my uh, heat gun here so I'll keep an eye on it as best I can I heard a little ping that may not be good so what is supposed to happen is everything kind of gets black to begin with and then the carbon starts burning off that's what we watch for so once the whites get pretty white, we're pretty much done. 1,200 degrees now. Whites are pretty white. I make a mistake, but I'm going to shut this thing down. Some light at 1300 degrees. 1250. 1400. So it's hotter on this side. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know if I've got this as hot, but I see cracks. 
on the top right here anyway. So we'll be able to uh, test whether the organic paint did what it's supposed to do or not. Uh, but there's, I've been getting cracks on the top of my pots and I'm not sure why. So we'll take a look at this once the pot is cooled off and see what we end up with. All right, uh, let's check out how our Salado pots came out. We did two of them. Uh, the first one, it broke some. There's some cracks on the bottom. Uh, but the question here is about the paint, and it's going to be all uh, kind of rough like this. So what we're going to do is rub it off and see what we get. So, I'll take it inside and clean it up. Uh, but, you know, the blacks turned out pretty black. The whites are not as white as I would like them to be. Uh, the reds are pretty good. The crack is not so good. So this has a nice, thunky sound to it. Uh, so that's pot number one. Pot number two, uh, as near as I can tell, it has a kind of a clunky sound, but I do not see any cracks in it. And so let's see how this turned out. So we rub it all off. Now the blacks are pretty good. Uh, the whites again, and maybe it's the slip I'm using. That could be it, uh, but the whites are not very white. I'm not real happy about that, uh, but I am, you know, the overall firing seems to be pretty good. Again, I will go inside and wash this up, and so I think the key here is uh, to make sure that the temperature of the fire is at the right spot that you want it to be. Uh, keep an eye on things and shut it down and I learned a lot and generally pretty happy All right, the Salado pots are cooled and they've been washed off. So let's do a real quick review This is pot number one uh, The point here of this experiment is to look at the black paint and the black paint turned out good I think not bad at all the white paint not so much. It's kind of on a gray side. The red is good what I really think happened here is it just didn't get as hot as it needed. It's just a few more degrees, I think, would have made a much better firing. Now, I do have some cracks in this. I think that's another issue. But like I said, what we're really after here is testing firing of organic black paint. Pot number two didn't come out as good as number one. And it didn't fire as hot either. I shut that down a little bit quicker. I was watching the heat gun and... I shut everything down when it hit about 1300 degrees. It could have taken some more. Uh, the blacks are nice and black. The whites are less white than the other one. The reds are less red. There is actually a, a black kind of haze over most of it. And what that tells me, there's a carbon buildup initially and it needs to burn off. And it didn't completely burn off. Uh, so next time I'm just going to push it a little bit hotter and see what happens. It's been a good learning experiment and been fun. So if it's been a little bit of fun for you, uh, that'd be great. And feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Consider subscribing. But until next time, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings. Wishing you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.